And now let's see what uh, we can do here in does with the stuff we have. So I'm going to create Genesis 8 mail 8.1. Remember we work with 8.1. Genesis 8 and 8.1 have different um, UVs, so unfortunately you have to pick. Cool. And uh, let's go to our parameters head and uh, find our head 30. Cool. Um, I'm going to switch to now smooth shaded mode. Um, one character I'm going to use for this one is Wolfgang, uh, which I bought and um, it's cool because uh, we kind of can use it for uh, body morphs and for the textures because we have textures of uh, of the head but we don't have textures of the body and uh, I want to have it. Cool. So for the head we're going to use one from the skin and for the body we're going to use Wolfgang's textures. So I'm going to go to uh, parameters parameters, um, general, let's add subdivisions, and let's go to full body, and find Wolfgang body, and uh, let's add HD details, but not only to the body, but to the head too. So for that, it's going to be in actor. Oh no, it's going to be in people. Oh, I guess we can do it separately. So let's do full body in here. So, and now I can see we have all this awesome details. And now um, I'm going to people and find HD for the head. So it's just extra wrinkles, which I think is cool, but you can lose it if you want to. Um, and I'm going to bring uh, eyebrows, so you want to go to anatomy and click eyebrows. And let's pose our character. Um, so, you know, the cool thing about this whole morph situation, creating morph, that now our character is editable and uh, we can pose him, um, let's say his face, uh, everything is a little slow because my um, resolution of the mesh is high. See, that's the cool thing about creating uh, those morphs. So you can use that awesome data from scan, but uh, it's editable and you can control it. Okay, the pose, I already have the pose. So... Cool, that will be my pose. And... Um, I also want to bring a t-shirt or something because here where uh, you know we have this seam between two textures uh, we also will have a seam because uh, we didn't do anything special with the next neck texture and there will be like a red line in there so I'm going to color it with a t-shirt I'm going to go to clothing basic clothing and let's uh, bring a And you need to have the figure selected. Awesome. So, uh, and one thing we should do before we move on into Cinema 4D, I want to find textures for a full gun's body. So we're going to use the scan textures for the head, but this one uh, needs those textures. And to apply them, first we need to find them, and it's a real pain in the butt when you work with dust. 
So we're going to go to our um, Vulcan folder and uh, we're going to apply those textures on the character by double clicking in materials. Okay, here are texture shaded view. Um, it's sometimes hard to find those textures on your drive. So a little mumbo jumbo here. So right click um, on any preview, say um, browse to file location. This will bring back general folder, but you will not find your textures in here, unfortunately. So you need to go back to to people, even earlier to does. This is just your does library. Then you go to runtime, and that's where all the textures are stored. Unfortunately, the names are completely different from the product, so you can go through it and try to find it. And uh, if you did, awesome. If not, like, you know, I can. Uh, so I need to know the name. And in order to know the name, I'm going to go to surfaces and uh, find my and um, actually surfaces here and uh, I know rabbit hole um, and here you see our surfaces and here is where textures are stored so it does character Genesis 8 cool and we know it's called wolf gun so let's try again does characters Genesis 8 both gun okay that was a trip you also can search as you can see I searched earlier um, and from here you copy all those textures and bring it into your um, C4D folder. So next step would be to export this file export. Um, I didn't export it with the highest resolution. You can if you want to. Um, I export it with just 3 and 4, but feel free to go crazier. It doesn't like the high resolution of the details. And here while your character is selected, click File, Export, and save it as OBJ. So, see you in Cinema.